Have you ever wondered why we've never encountered highly advanced extraterrestrial civilizations? Today, we delve into the scary truth that explains why humans will never find a Type 3 civilization. Let's start by introducing the Kardashev scale. This is a method of measuring a civilization's level of technological advancement, but not in the way we humans measure it. We're not talking about the latest smartphones or quantum computers. No, the Kardashev scale focuses on something much bigger, the amount of energy a civilization can use. The scale was proposed by Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev in the 1960s. It classifies civilizations into three types. A Type 1 civilization, also known as a planetary civilization, can harness and control energy at the scale of its own planet. Think about controlling the weather, volcanic activity, or even earthquakes. We humans are not yet a Type 1 civilization, but we're getting closer. A Type 2 civilization, referred to as a stellar civilization, can harness the total energy output of its parent star. Picture a megastructure like a Dyson sphere, encapsulating the sun and capturing every bit of energy it emits. But it's the Type 3 civilization we are particularly interested in. This is a galactic civilization, one that harnesses energy at the scale of its own galaxy. Imagine being able to tap into the power of billions of stars, utilizing the raw energy of an entire galaxy. The potential of such a civilization is truly mind-boggling. Now, with the observable universe being home to over two trillion galaxies, you'd think we would have bumped into a Type 3 civilization by now, wouldn't you? After all, the odds seem to be in our favor. But we haven't, and there's a very good reason why we probably never will. The universe might be teeming with life, but it may not be the kind of life we're hoping to find. With the observable universe being home to over two trillion galaxies, You'd think we would have bumped into a Type 3 civilization by now, wouldn't you? But we haven't, and here's why. Enter the Fermi Paradox, the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence for such civilizations. Let's delve into the mysterious realm of the Fermi Paradox. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, it highlights a perplexing contradiction. Given the vastness of our universe with its estimated diameter of 93 billion light years, the odds of extraterrestrial life seem quite high. Yet here's the kicker. Despite our relentless search for cosmic companionship, we've found no evidence, not a single radio signal nor a spaceship of such civilizations. Imagine this scale. Our universe is home to approximately one septillion stars. That's a one followed by 24 zeros, a number so colossal that it defies comprehension. Now consider that a good proportion of these stars likely host planetary systems, the sheer number of potential habitats for life is staggering. The Fermi Paradox proposes that if there are a significant number of technologically advanced civilizations in the galaxy, then it would be expected that we would have already had contact with them. But we haven't. This paradox has sparked numerous theories and debates among scientists, each one trying to unravel its enigma. Some propose that intelligent civilizations are simply too far apart in space or time. It's like two ships passing in the night in the vast ocean of the cosmos. Others suggest that perhaps these civilizations are avoiding contact, like a cosmic version of the do not disturb sign. Then there's the possibility that we are simply not listening properly, or that we are not technologically advanced enough to perceive them. All these solutions have their merits and their flaws, but they all highlight one crucial point. The universe is unimaginably vast and complex. The Fermi Paradox serves as a humbling reminder of our small place in the cosmos and the mysteries it holds. So with all these stars, and presumably a good portion of them having planets, where is everybody? One possible answer to the Fermi Paradox is the concept of the Great Filter. Imagine a vast wall stretching across the universe, a barrier that all life must struggle to overcome. This is the Great Filter a theory that suggests an insurmountable obstacle exists somewhere between the birth of life and the evolution of a Type 3 civilization. The Great Filter hypothesizes that there's a point in the evolutionary process that is extraordinarily difficult, if not impossible, for life to surpass. It's a hurdle so formidable that it extinguishes nearly all attempts at existence. This could be anything from the development of multicellular organisms to the creation of sustainable artificial intelligence. The chilling question then arises, where does this great filter lie? 
If it's in our past, then we are among the rare, perhaps even the only, species to have vaulted over this cosmic hurdle. On the other hand, if it's in our future, then our quest towards becoming a Type 3 civilization might be ultimately doomed. Think about it this way. If the Great Filter is in our past, then life is exceedingly rare. But we've made it. We've won the Great Cosmic Lottery. But if the Filter is in our future, then life could be plentiful. But the universe is littered with the ruins of civilizations that reach too far, too fast. So when we gaze up at the stars and wonder why we see no signs of Type 3 civilizations, the Great Filter Theory provides one possible explanation. Maybe they've already encountered their Great Filter and didn't survive. Perhaps the silence of the cosmos is not a mystery, but a warning. But let's not forget, theories are meant to be tested, questioned and refined. The Great Filter is merely one possible explanation among many. Yet, it serves as a sobering reminder of the challenges we might face as we reach for the stars. Is it possible that a Type 3 civilization has already hit their Great Filter, explaining their absence? Or is it even scarier to consider that the filter might be ahead of us? Another potential answer to the Fermi paradox is the Dark Forest Theory. This intriguing concept proposes that the universe is akin to a dark, dense forest, teeming with life that remains unseen. Civilizations are like lone hunters, silently stalking through the undergrowth, ever wary of revealing their presence. The Dark Forest Theory is built on two fundamental axioms, the first is that survival is the primary need of civilization. It's a universal truth that transcends species and time, a constant across the cosmos. The second axiom states that civilization continues to grow and expand, but the resources of the universe are finite. These two axioms inevitably lead to a cosmic game of hide-and-seek, where revealing oneself could invite annihilation. Imagine, if you will, a hunter moving silently through the forest. They must be cautious, for any noise may attract predators. Likewise, a civilization must remain silent, lest it attract the attention of a more advanced civilization that may perceive it as a threat. In this dark forest of the universe, it is safer to remain hidden, to maintain radio silence, and to observe quietly from the shadows. This theory suggests that civilizations may have learned to camouflage their presence, to blend in with the cosmic background noise, to avoid detection, it's a chilling thought, isn't it? A universe teeming with life, yet eerily silent. Each civilization a silent hunter in the dark, waiting, watching, always on the alert. The dark forest theory provides an unsettling perspective on our search for extraterrestrial life. If civilizations are indeed hiding, consciously avoiding contact, our efforts to reach out to the cosmos might be seen as reckless, even dangerous. We may be the naive hunter, shouting in the forest, oblivious to the potential dangers lurking in the shadows. If the Dark Forest theory holds true, then finding a Type 3 civilization might be the last thing we'd ever do. So as we continue to explore the cosmos, let's tread softly, for we are not alone in this Dark Forest. And the silence? It may not be empty, but filled with the quiet breath of countless civilizations, patiently waiting in the shadows. So, will we ever find a Type 3 civilization? After exploring the Kardashev scale, the Fermi paradox, the Great Filter and the Dark Forest theory, we're left with a plethora of cosmic conundrums. The sheer vastness of the universe is mind-boggling. With billions of galaxies, each teeming with billions of stars, the probability of life seems high. Yet we're confronted with the unsettling silence of the cosmos, an enigma known as the Fermi paradox. If there's so much potential for life, where is everybody? The Great Filter Theory offers a chilling answer. It suggests that all civilizations inevitably hit a barrier that prevents their further advancement, or worse, leads to their extinction. Could it be that Type 3 civilizations have met their demise before reaching out to us? Then, there's the Dark Forest Theory, a grim hypothesis borrowed from the realm of astrophysics. It likens the universe to a dark forest, where civilizations, like hunters, stay quiet to survive evading detection from potential cosmic predators. These theories might explain why we haven't found a Type 3 civilization yet. But remember, these are just theories in the grand tapestry of cosmic understanding. Our search is still in its infancy, and the universe continues to surprise us at every turn. 
While the search for extraterrestrial life continues, it's clear that finding a Type 3 civilization might be a much more complex and potentially frightening prospect than we ever imagined.